Arminia Bielefeld were in the Bundesliga just two seasons ago, but are now in the third German division and could face a third relegation in a row. Bielefeld were playing in the first year in the 2021-22 season, but finished 17th and got relegated. In the 2022-23 season, they finished 16th in the second division, which meant Bielefeld were in the relegation playoffs and had to win over two legs against third division side Weyen Wiesbaden. Bielefeld lost 4-0 in the first leg and 2-1 in the second leg, which ultimately saw them get relegated back-to-back from the Bundesliga to the Dritte Liga. And what's even more surprising is that they are currently also in one of the relegation playoff spots in the third division. If Bielefeld does end up in one of those spots at the end of the season, they will have gone down from the first division to the fourth division in three seasons. This story and unfortunate downfall makes up for a very interesting career mode challenge in FC24 though. You will have to save Bielefeld from falling even further and eventually get them back in the Bundesliga. The main goal in every season should be the following. In season one, you need to try and immediately get promoted promoted back to the second German division. In season 2, you need to at least finish any top 6 place in the Zweite Bundesliga. In season 3, you need to get promoted back to the Bundesliga again. In season 4, you need to avoid relegation from the first division. In season 5, you need to finish any mid-table place in the Bundesliga. In season 6, you have to qualify for a European competition. In season 7, the goal is to finish any top 4 spot and qualify for the Champions League. And in season 8, you need to win the Bundesliga. You can also add a season 9 where you need to win the Champions League too. But if you want to make this challenge a bit harder, you can also sim each of the first 10 games of the first season to see where Bielefeld are in the league table and work your way up from there. This way you could make the career mode a bit more realistic as well, as Bielefeld have already played the first 10 matches of the season in real life. One big pro of this challenge with Bielefeld is the fact they have their real stadium in the game and are the only club in the third German division to have their actual stadium in FC24. Regarding Bielefeld's squad, they have seen 27 players leave the club in the summer. They have brought back 20 players in total, most of them as free agents and a few players on loan. Their squad mostly exists of German players, with the highest rated being Noah Joel Sarangen Basi, who was signed from Augsburg this summer. You might remember a few other names like Sam Schreck, who used to play for Leverkusen, Manuel Winsheimer, who played for Hamburg, and Nazim Bujelab, who used to play for Schalke. Both Sarangen Basi and Schreck have a scanned game face in career mode. But despite the big renovation in Bielefeld's squad, there is still one player who decided to stay at the club. His name is Fabian Kloos. He is 35 years old and is the club captain. He has played at Bielefeld since the 2011-12 season and has played over 400 games for the club, scoring over 170 goals. He practically joined the club when they were declared bankrupt and has been with the club in the third division from 2011 to 2013 and in the 2014-15 season. But he has also been a part of the club when they were in the Bundesliga just two seasons ago. Close is also the all-time club top goalscorer and also has the most appearances for the club. But in February of 2022, the club and him agreed to let this contract expire at the end of the season, with many saying he would have retired from football after. But two months later he got a serious head injury which ended his season early. As Bielefeld would get relegated from the Bundesliga to the second division at the end of the season, Klaus decided to stay. As he wanted to help the club, things actually got much worse the next season with another relegation of course. After the 4-0 loss in the first leg of the relegation playoffs against Wiesbaden, Klaus left the pitch in tears. Regarding which manager you could use for this challenge, there are really two options. First off, you could retire club captain Fabian Klose and use him as a manager and then hope Bielefeld is among the club options. So this might take a couple of tries. But you can also use a manager who has a scanned game face in the game. It's difficult to pick one who is at least slightly realistic to use as Bielefeld manager but Nuri Sahin used to play in Germany for Werder Bremen and Dortmund and is now a manager of Turkish side Antalya Spor. So I would recommend him. But you can of course also recreate a German footballing icon as a manager who will save Bielefeld. Some examples could be Miroslav Klose, Lothar Matthäus, Rudi Völler and Philipp Lahm. Some rules you can use in this challenge are the following. Disable the first transfer window so it makes it harder to immediately get promoted back to the second division again. Of course you have to keep Fabian close at the club until he decides to retire and of course make him the main club captain as well. He's actually scored the most goals out of all the players at the club for 9 seasons already so make him top goalscorer of the club a few more times. When Fabian close does decide to retire you need to find a new experienced player to lead the team and be the club captain. So choose a well known German player and make him the new captain captain until he retires. You can use the youth academy to find new talents but only have scouts who have a maximum of 3 stars judgment and 3 stars experience. The rivals of Bielefeld are Paderborn so don't lose a game against them. If you do you have to sell a starting 11 player in the next transfer window. Bielefeld had a great cup run in the 2014-15 season where they reached the semi-final. Replicate this run and actually win the DFB Pokal for the first time in the club's history as well. For the first 3 seasons keep the transfer strategy Bielefeld used this summer. This means signing 
relatively younger players from other big German teams in the first and second division. Outside of Germany, Bielefeld has signed quite a few Austrian, Dutch, Polish, Turkish and Croatian players over the years. So mostly signed players from those countries as well. A few recommended transfers that you could sign who are relatively realistic are the following. Niklas Lomp who is a 66 rated goalkeeper playing for Leverkusen. Antonius Papadopoulos is a 23 year old centre back and plays for Dortmund. He's 67 rated and has 72 potential. Mamadou Ducouré is a French centre back who plays for Gladbach. He's 25 years old and is 62 rated and has 67 potential. Milairo Bogada is a 21 year old Dutch centre back who can also play as a right wing back and as a defensive midfielder. He plays for Hoffenheim and is 65 rated and has 76 potential. Manuel Haas plays for Osnabrück and he is a 27 year old Austrian left back who is 63 rated. Daniel Latze is 33 years old and can play as a central midfielder and as a defensive mid. He is 69 rated and plays for Schalke. Michael Eberwein is a 65 rated attacking midfielder who plays for Dortmund's second team. He is actually 27 years old and can also play as a striker. Ulysses Lanes Jr. is a 22 year old American right winger who is 64 rated and has 72 potential and plays for Wolfsburg. Franco Kovacevic is a 23 year old Croatian striker and plays for Wiesbaden. He is 64 rated and has 69 potential. And the last player is Lucas Tanius who plays for Magdeburg and he is a 30 year old Dutch striker who is 65 rated. He used to have 87 potential in FIFA 10 as well. Subscribe to my channel to see more career challenges and I will see you at the next video.